Hello, so today I'm back in the e-up and I'm going to do a retest of the battery. And there are at least two reasons for that. <laughs> well, maybe another one, but um, first of all is uh, on the last test, I tested degradation to be about 30%. And um, that's quite a lot. So in the comments, uh, I got someone told me, maybe you can check out the dealership to see if you can have a... Um, a warranty replacement so I call them and uh, I'm gonna have um, deliver the car to a battery expert uh, in the middle of October so I just want to make sure that I have the figures correctly another thing is when I tested the last time I drove rather fast the speed was 110 zone and uh, the higher the faster you drive the higher the heat loss is or the higher consumption you have the higher the heat loss is so maybe it would be less degradation if I drive a bit slower. <laughs> Not degradation, but uh, the measurement will be less. Um, so yeah, uh, I am also uh, want to test... Um, I plotted in the route I'm going to drive. Well, it's not going to empty the battery, uh, but I plotted the route from here, from this charger to Kongsberg and back with 20% and 30% state of charge or degradation in the settings. So I'm going to see which one is closest. I think the consumption is about right. It claims to be 161 watt hours per kilometer on a sunny day going 90 kilometers an hour on the flat stretch or 110 it's actually. So yeah, but we'll see which one is closest. Uh, today is, it's autumn, it's ra been raining and it's rather wet. So the consumption will be higher. But um, for the 30% degradation, I think I would arrive with 31% according to a better route planner. And with 20%, I would arrive with 40% state of charge at this place. So I'm going to check that as well, because I, I might do some more long longish drives in this car. But then I need to trust the, <laughs> the consumption and the, the measurements and stuff like that. So the plan today is to... First, charge to 100%. I'm at 97 now. Then I'm going to drive to Kongsberg and back here and check the state of the charge. And um, then I'm going to drive and almost empty the battery. And then I'm going to calculate how much I have spent. And after that, I will charge again to 100% and see how much is put into the battery. But one thing to keep in mind is when you're charging, you have a higher heat loss than when you're discharging because you're actually spending or that the power, the current is higher when you're charging, uh, at least in the beginning. So, um, well, that's the plan at least. <laughs> we'll see how it pans out. Uh, and uh, one thing I forgot about is uh, the, the last time I did this, I had to extrapolate a bit and stuff like that because the charger wouldn't charge to 100%, only 95%. And uh, I also had to use this dial to try to estimate the state of charge. And one of the nice things about this charger is... Oh, there's a lot of fossils here. <laughs> this will actually display the state of charge of the EUP. <laughs> and um, also how many kilowatt hours I put in. But now we're at 100%, so I'm gonna unplug and start driving to Kongsberg. Now I'm passing through Kongsberg. It's uh, halfway to the other spot. And uh, I've spent maybe 70%, so we'll see, maybe 40% is when I get back. It's almost all, all downhill when I get back. And uh, consumption up here has been 16 and a half or 165 watt hours per kilometer. There's the Kongsberg stream or uh, waterfall. <laughs> and uh, I'm back at the charger. And the consumption seems to be fairly close to 40% actually. Each of those bars is 6.5% if I calculate it correctly. It's definitely above 20% which would be below the one quarter mark. Um, so consumption so far is 144 and we're currently using 300 watts for heating and stuff. <laughs> And uh, I've been doing fairly good. 
uh, it has been raining, but a better route planning should have taken that into account. There's an IPS, new IPS ch charging at the 50 kilowatt charger. I'm not sure. I think it can go up to 90 actually. Anyway, now I need to drive for a bit longer. I'm I have a route I'm going to take to burn down the battery. Uh, it's going to take quite a bit of time, probably, but we'll see. Anyway, so far it looks like either a better route planner is not accurate, it estimates too high consumption, or I don't have 30% degradation. <laughs> we'll see in a bit. So, I'm back at the charging spot. Um, the car had 134 watt hour per kilometer and I drove 91 kilometers. So that means the consumption or the total usage has been 12.7 kilowatt hours, which is fairly a fair bit higher than last time uh, when I measured 12 kilowatt hours in use. But I think it's due to me driving slower and uh, having less heat loss. So that could point also towards the 20% um, degradation being correct. I think I sh the, the correct way is to measure actually usable what you actually get out of the battery, not necessarily what I put in. But now I'm charging again. I'm going to charge to 100%, but there are some losses when you are charging. So we'll see how much it puts into the battery for me to get 12.7 um, out. I think reg usually I can maybe count on getting 12 and a half out if I'm driving a bit less carefully. So um, we'll see. There are, the iPace is still here. <laughs> it's been charging for an hour or something. I don't know. There's someone going to charge the Zoe behind me as well. So it's quite busy here right now. Um, however, uh, let's charge up to a 100% and see how much it does. It's actually up to 14% already. After two minutes, <laughs> it's charging quite fast. So yeah. So the car just hit 80%. Oh, there it go, went to 81%. It goes so fast now. <laughs> and 16 minutes so far. It's actually charging fairly fast for the battery size that it, or maybe not <laughs> for the battery size, but that means uh, or about 15 minutes for 10 kilowatt hours. So it's charging at about 40 kilowatt up to 80%. It seems to be st still be going. I don't think it will last though, <laughs> but that's quite promising for um, a bit longer trip. 17 minutes now. All right, so it's about to hit 100%. 28 minutes of charging so far, and uh, I suspect it will end up at 13 kilowatt hours, maybe a bit less, which means um, Take that divided by 0.95, it's a bit north of 13 and a half kilowatt hours, I think. And that means uh, you almost have one kilowatt hours of loss when charging, but that's normal. And um, it's actually charging fairly fast. <laughs> well, there it went to 29 minutes. So at 95% it had charged for 22 minutes. The last, the last bit there is kind of slow, but... Um, Half an hour to charge to 100% is not bad. <laughs> so might actually be viable when you're driving far if you desperately need the last 5%. But let's just see here. No, 100% yet. The last percent here is probably going to be really slow. <laughs> but I think um, the conclusion here is that the battery is actually, yeah, there we go. 12.9 uh, kilowatt hours. 29 minutes and 100%. So I think if I do the math, I'm going to do it a bit properly when editing, but um, I think it ends up at around 20% and not 30%. So still high. Hopefully it warrants the battery replacement. Uh, well, it would be best if I didn't need to do that because it's not that environmentally friendly, but um, I wouldn't mind 20% extra range on this car. <laughs> anyway, I think that's it for today. So, see you another time.